I tamed every mob in Minecraft. Let's turn this iron golem into a lumber golem. We'll buff up that upper body, give him some beefy arms for swinging axes, a huge pair of axes perfect for cutting down trees, and we'll finish him off with a classic lumberjack outfit. This should be perfect for our lumber golem. That guy's looking beefy. And those lumberjack legs are looking a little small, but double axes will probably make up for those tiny little legs. This lumberjack golem needs to be my companion. So I gotta see what he can do for me. In case I need to build a log cabin or a fire or something like that. All right, lumber golem, get to work. Oh, double axes at the same time. He's chopping down this massive tree right here. And he instantly moves on to the next tree as well. If I had 20 different lumberjack golems, we would be able to chop down this forest in no time. All of the lumberjack golems get to work. They're working on the same tree, actually. It probably would be more efficient to work on different trees. Ah, we're gonna have to organize some sort of management structure. Seems like a whole lot of work. We'll make this creeper into a demolition creeper. Safety first. Let's give this guy a hard hat. And a bright orange safety vest is also a necessity. And don't forget to always wear the proper footwear to protect your creeper feet. Demolition creeper, hello to the construction manager. Let's place a few of these guys around the construction site here. All right, folks, it's time to get to work. I want all these ores cleared out as fast as possible. Excellent. You guys are working a little faster than I expected. All I've got to do is walk around and collect all the droppings. Actually, we might get to bedrock sooner than anticipated. This could go poorly if we're not careful. So far, it's a whole lot of cobblestone. No, you guys think we could find any diamond? Ah, now that's more like it. There we go. We've got ourselves our first diamond. It definitely didn't take long, but it took a lot of destruction in order to get there. Let's teach this pig to fly. To take flight, this little pig will need some pretty big wings. We'll stretch out some of the joints here, plan out some feathers there. A little shaping and detailing will give this pig the perfect wings. Now that is a pig that I'm sure is capable of flying. Look at the wingspan on this guy. Now, the test of truth, though, is can I actually hop on this guy? I can hop on this guy. I am flying on a pig right now. Oh, my goodness. The oxygen's getting a little bit low up here. We're getting very, very, very elevated. And the world is disappearing behind me. This pig could probably fly forever. Well, just leave this guy down here in case I create anything I need to get away from permanently. Let's tame this gas by making it a gas cloud. We'll take this block shape and add some fluff to make it into a cloud. And we'll turn these tendrils blue to look like rain. Now it's ready to water some crops. That is one massive rain cloud. But I don't want it to be sad forever. Let's bring it over this little farm here and see if this rain cloud can rain on some of these crops. These crops have haven't grown for me in years. Oh, the rain cloud actually is. Watch this. Positioning above the crops. They're growing right away. Look at it. Oh, no, wait. The tears. They're coming out of the eyes. The rain cloud is crying. No, don't cry. We have a dinner. Well, you stay here and keep watering these crops. I'll be back shortly. This rabbit will become an Easter rabbit. First, we'll raise it up on two legs. Give it a fancy little farmer's hat. Make those little whiskers Pop. A pair of overalls like a proper young Easter rabbit. We'll give him a basket on his back for carrying eggs and fill it with colorful Easter eggs all around. Look at this tiny little Easter rabbit. Ooh, but you probably just want carrots. I know Easter rabbits love carrots, or maybe not. I mean, I'll take my diamond back. Ooh, wait, it is a chocolate egg. Can I open it? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, I cannot open it. I can toss it. Unlimited explosive Easter eggs. This isn't the chocolate I remember as a kid. If we're not careful, we could destroy the entire world with these chocolates. I think I better keep these to myself. We'll make this wither skeleton into a wither wizard. Every wizard needs a cool set of magic robes. We'll give him some bright blue robes with a fancy yellow trim and a proper wizard staff looking like magic. It looks like our rain cloud has gone on to better pastures. So let's bring in our white wizard to defend the crops. I guess you probably do need something to defend against, huh? Oh, you spawned a skeleton and the skeleton is going after the husks. Another skeleton. Our white wizard will follow us around and spawn unlimited skeletons to fight off hostile mobs. Ooh, that skeleton went down. Hey, wait. 
There's one getting in. Oh, could you at least knock him outside the walls? We don't want that flesh stinking up the garden. Well, even if it's stinky, I guess we won't have much trouble with the white wizard protecting everything. Let's turn this witch into an alchemist. <laughs> She'll need a pair of goggles for safety, of course. Some wild looking hair. Turn these faces into purple locks. They're ready to make some potions. We have got the perfect sneaky alchemist hut back here in the swamps. Ah, hello. Yes, there you are with your mighty long nose and extremely crazy hair. How does that happen? What is this? Oh, I picked it up. I touched it. A mega jump boost potion. What else you got? A mega speed potion. This alchemist might not be so bad after all. All right, don't mind if I do. Woohoo! I'm up above the trees. What about a mega speed potion? Whoa! I could jump all over the entire jungle. What about the mega health? Oh my goodness! My heart's unlimited. I'd love to stay here forever with the alchemist, but I've got a duty. More creations to make. This spider can be a knitting master for us. We'll prop that body into a comfy sitting position, arrange those legs in optimum knitting poses, give each a knitting needle, and this knitting spider is a master in her old age, so we'll need to give her a bun and some glasses to see all the little details of her work. Now, I'm not so sure how this is going to work out, but I imagine that the spider having all of the webbing should technically be able to knit me anything. But the only way to find out is perhaps drop some wool. Here's some wool for you. Knit with this. I don't think Granny wants to knit me anything. But if I try to get away, Granny just chases me down. Well, I guess I'll probably get a blanket eventually. Let's turn this wolf into a watchdog. We'll give it a recolor from wolf to Doberman. Reshape the face a bit. Make that tail a little stump. Look at those pointy ears. This dog is on the job. We've got a village overrun with husks. And we've got the watchdog, which is looking fairly simple so far. I just need to make sure this guy can clear this village away. And the watchdog instantly has identified all the threats inside the village. This husk over here. The watchdog has chased him into a wall. Watch, this husk is gonna run into the wall to try and get away from our watchdog. And unfortunately, the wall is not a great place to be. This watchdog will follow me around anywhere I go and chase off any dangerous mobs that I run by which means I guess I'm pretty safe to climb in here and just go to sleep for the day. Having a watchdog is pretty darn nice. Let's tame this Enderman and give him a job as an Ender Portal. We'll need to make this long body into a more portal shape, a big box for the body to start, add in the portal, and we'll make it so it's got a door that can open and close. A literal Ender Portal could perhaps be the best companion anybody could ask for in Minecraft. I mean, I think there's really just one way to see if this works. Here goes nothing. Ah, it's working right to the end. Wait, I still have some logs from our lumberjack friend. All right. I mean, or I could just go like this. And our ender dragon has been tamed as well. And we can jump on the saddle right here. And we're riding the ender dragon. Oh, and he's taking us for a journey into nothingness. This was probably a very, very, very bad idea. How am I I'm gonna get back from here!